question before we end this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Honorable Chief of Minister of Tamanganu, Brother Zakir, the VIPs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Zahar from uh, Tanganu State. Uh, actually, it was a long queue. I forgot the questions already. <laughs> anyway, since you have mentioned a few times about Bibles and Quran, as well as you mentioned about Sheikh Ahmad Didat, which I know that Sheikh Ahmad Didat is your sifu, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I remember I had read a few times where Sheikh Ahmad Didat had debate with Anis Shorosh from Palestine a few times, and the last time was in Albert Hall of England. And the debate was about the Bible and the Quran, which is the words of Allah, of God. And uh, I'm so sorry if, if I, this is very sensitive actually. The Christians claims that Anish Shoros had won the debate, but at the same time, won the debate. But at the same time, the Muslim supporters claim that Ahmad Didat had won the debate. Now, could you please give a clear clarification of who really won the debate and what are the salient points that says that Quran is the words of God? Thank you. The brother asked a question that Sheikh Ahmad Didat, the person who inspired me, debated with Dr. Anis Sorosh many times and last time in Royal Albert Hall. Not last time, the first time Royal Albert Hall, the topic what is this God? The second time was Quran or the Bible, which is God word in Birmingham, NEC Stadium, NEC National National Exhibition Center, and the Christians say that Anish Sorosh won. The Muslims say that Sheikh Didat won. What is right? You see the sorry. Now these are the things that the supporters of the Christian supporters are claiming that they had won the debate, but when you go through all this, the Muslim claim that they won. So now we are in. We don't know who really won and what are the salient points saying if you, that... If you, yeah. if you hear the debate yeah. of Sheikh Didat and Dr. Anish Sorosh, we find that what Anish Sorosh did was he was speaking at 1000 miles per hour. He was reading from his book which he wrote and when you speak at 1000 miles per hour something you don't understand. And even I heard the debate I didn't understand what he said. So if you don't understand what he said, how can I reply? Here it is, I could say, please sister, repeat. There you could not say. Correct? Yeah. So when she, when Anish Sorosh was reading at 100 miles per hour, you could see the audience getting irritated. He was looking down. He was speaking to himself, not to the audience. And debating is even my expertise, Alhamdulillah. I'm supposed to be a student of Sheikh Dida. And when I saw the debate, he was breaking all the rules of debate. He was reading to himself as though the audience didn't exist, and the audience was booing him. Yeah. But naturally, if you're going to look and talk like that, like that, like that, why has the audience come here? So, if you're going to read 1000 miles per hour, so whatever Sheikh Didat understood, he replied. And he hammered him, lock, stock and barrel. What he didn't understand, how can he reply? Correct? That's the reason he had a second day. He challenged any Christian missionary to come and no one came. So he replied to some parts which you could not understand. Now when you replay, you can understand. So Sheikh Dida heard again and replied to more points the next day. If you see the sequel to his debate, he has replied to many points which he didn't understand the first day. And the best answer is, if you see the debate of Dr. Anis Sorosh with Dr. Jamal Badwi. Here, Sheikh Dida was having a handicap. He could not understand 1000 miles per hour speed. You understand? And Anish Roy did not reply to Didat, even though Didat spoke very clearly. So as a person, when you can realize that Didat spoke so clearly and Anish Roy did not reply, that means Anish Roy didn't have answers. Didat, I do agree with you, did not answer to all his allegations. Because his allegations were 1000 miles per hour. It was so fast, they could not be understood. Party answered next day in the sequel. But if you see the debate, between Anis Sorosh and Jamal Badwi. Now because his book was released, now you can read the book. So after a few months when Anis Sorosh debated with Jamal Badwi, Jamal Badwi took Anis Sorosh lock, stock and barrel. Though he spoke at 100 miles per hour, Jamal Badwi could read the book. And he was prepared. 
before the debate with Sheikh Dida, the book wasn't released. So Anil Sorosh answered each and every point, point by point, and really flattened him. Sheikh Dida, mashallah, did a wonderful job. Even though he could not understand many things, he answered. And that's the reason most the Muslims believe that he won the debate. And the Christians, they are supporting the battle, the falsehood. Really, such a Christian tells you, tell him, hear the sequel of Sheikh Didat, you'll get more answers. Hear the debate to Dr. Jamal Badi, you'll get all the answers. And so, but natural, as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81, Allah says, وَقُلْ جَا لَكْ وَزَاكَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ لَبَاطِلَ قَانَ سَوْكَ When truth is heard again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood, it's by its nature bound to perish. Hope that answers the question. And I thank the audience for their patient listening. وَآخِرُ الدَّوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Central Amazon or anywhere at all that's far from civilizations, from information, from technology and all that. So to say that they will have to burn in hell for innocently not knowing the existence of this very beautiful religion, it is unfair Sister, to Sister, I've got your question. The speech yes. time is over. Yes. You have already said seven, eight sentences. All right. And I think you did not hear the question asked earlier by the sister. Your question is a repetition. She asked a question earlier that my non-Muslim friend, if they follow their scriptures and if they don't follow Islam, will they go to hell? And I gave the answer, the answer is going to be the same. Even if they don't get the message, Allah gives the message directly. It's mentioned in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 53.